what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we are not working on project wilson we are actually out at the lake getting ready to do a second test run on the elko 50 horsepower motor Luckily, we have Nathan from Underground Power here. Hello again. He's going to help us describe or talk about and help us understand uh, the issues that we were having with the BMS last time. Because uh, we ultimately we knew that you know the BMS wasn't working properly Correct. before we took that first test. Correct. It was more or less a thing of you know we've already got it in. The batteries are in electrically everything is sound we'll just go ahead and see what it does more to right. this type of thing so um half of the bms wasn't really operational again we knew that going into it so when we went out when you heard us say uh, smoke or whatever it actually had fried half of the mosfets and the bms itself that's what ended up happening after i got it back didn't tear it apart for sure that's what happened um for whatever reason when we went to connect the monitoring screen along with the Bluetooth module from the phone, um, it didn't like it. I was told that it would, it wouldn't. Again, it's a component that I don't necessarily build um, that's in that brain box in the BMS module itself. So now that we've got a new one in here, everything is looks to be firing on all cylinders. So we're here to try it out again. That's awesome. Because so. just to be clear, right? Mm -hmm. The BMS and the batteries are both prototype. Correct. Okay. Correct. So batteries perform flawlessly. BMS, take two. Right. So we're back out at the lake to do a second test run on this bad boy. We got Troy. What's up, Troy? What's up? You excited, man? I'm always excited. <laughs> got a new addition to the family here. Oh, that's right. The only thing that's been uh, done differently since the last test run is uh, Troy did get a jack plate for this thing. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see how it reacts on here. Frankie from Piedmont up, Custom Fab. How's the build been going, man? Going good. Yeah. Been going good. Doesn't look like much is done, but all the doors are done, powder coated. Got to finish up. We just wanted to get the second test done before we did anything else on the inside. But other than that, everything's been going good. I'm at life jackets. BMS itself is a battery management system, so it makes sure that it can't be overcharged, over discharged, um, make sure that all of the cells stay stay balanced and where they need to be to where everything is happy to where you get the most runtime out of it, etc. We've also added some of our own uh, modules in there as well to help out with the balancing system of it. If it you know it does get drained way far down from a long, long weekend or a long day um, when it is charging back up to make sure that everything stays in check and kind of help the BMS itself back out. So there's what the, the basic platform of it tells you. You get your full uh, sum voltage, the current amperage, whether it be going in or going out. It tells you whether it's able to be charged, whether it's able to be discharged right now, so everything is good, and whether or not it's actually balancing. It'll give you the overall difference in the voltages of the high and the low cells, as well as the maximum voltage, minimum voltage of those cells in the grouping. Um, average of all of the groups of cells power going in and out, how many times it's been cycled, um, and then there are all of your individual voltages on all of the individual groups of cells. That's awesome. So all that information is portable Bluetooth to your phone. That's correct. Awesome. So right now, after a full evening of charging and balancing, we are sitting within 0 .004 volts across all 32 of those groups of cells. It's two inches too Just two inches too low. So we, uh, a little bit of adjust, adjusting to do as far as the jack plate, but 
it still held the same horsepower, maybe a little bit lower a few times. At the end of the day, that, that test went pretty well. Absolutely. A little disappointed in the speed, but that's from mostly the jack plate stuff. Right, right. They um, got some more testing and tuning to do with yeah. that. I'm sure they'll get it, get yeah. it uh, gotta get tuned that, in there. Got to get that tuned up a little bit, and then everything should be... We're hoping to hit 30 in it at some point, so that's kind of the goal right now. But mm -hmm. end of the day, BMS-wise, how do you feel? Batteries, all that stuff. They performed beautifully. Uh, BMS loved it. It wasn't even breaking a sweat. Uh, the highest amperage I think I saw today was 320, 330 amps, something like that. Uh, the fan on the BMS never even kicked on. Like I said, didn't even break a sweat. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell thing so you get notified every time I uh, put an upload. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next As soon as you kicked it on, it was 114.